Just hours from now, a historic moment for American politics and the country's legal system. Opening statements in the criminal trial against Donald Trump in New York. Opening statements really just offer a preview of the facts to come. David Pecker, former publisher of the National Enquirer and a Trump ally, could be among the first witnesses called. Other key witnesses could include adult film star Stormy Daniels, Michael Cohen, Trump's former fixer, Karen McDougal, an ex-Playboy model, Hope Hicks, Trump's former White House communications director, and possibly Mr. Trump himself. Yes. The prosecution will make its case to a jury of seven men and five women, along with six alternates, alleging that this is a matter of election interference. Mr. Trump has pled not guilty to 34 counts of falsifying business records related to a $130,000 payment made to Stormy Daniels. Prosecutors say it was made to keep her quiet about an alleged sexual encounter. The payment allegedly happened after his Access Hollywood tape leaked during the 2016 campaign. How are you? you. Terrific. The former president has denied allegations of the encounter with Daniels and the payment. This is a giant witch hunt. Mr. Trump is required to be in court every weekday except Wednesdays when court is not in session, limiting his ability to campaign. I'm supposed to be in a lot of different places campaigning, but I've been here all day. His North Carolina rally canceled on Saturday due to weather. I'm, more, I'm devastated that this could happen. Meanwhile, President Biden trimmed Mr. Trump's lead in our new NBC News poll. Trump leading Biden by just two points in a head-to-head matchup, down from five points. But with third-party candidates in the mix, Biden leads Trump by two points. Yasmin is joining us now from outside court. And Yasmin, if this is just the start for this trial, when might we see a verdict? The trial could take four to six weeks, um, Hallie. And if he is found guilty, he's facing up to four years in prison. Hallie. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.